In this video, I'm gonna challenge myself to scan every single DVD in a thrift store to try and uncover a heap of profit to sell onto eBay. If you're here for the first time, I'm a full-time reseller. I basically buy items for a really low cost and try and make a profit on eBay with it. DVDs is something that I do a lot, but I've never really had the time to sift through an entire store's worth of DVDs to see what's actually in there. So you're gonna come along for the ride with me today. I'm gonna to show you just how much potential profit is sitting on these shelves that we constantly neglect. So let's dive into that op shop right now and I'll show you what I'm picking up. So I think a good place to start will be to show you how I'm actually going about searching for these DVDs and it's just through the eBay app and a filtered sold search to see what the item sold for previously over the last 90 days. So a very simple step to do, you can easily access it on your phone and uh, I guess now it's just time to jump in and show you what actually sold. Uh, this black caviar, obviously $14.95. That's really the sort of the starting price point that I'm looking for. $29.95 with this one here, obviously a great turnaround, but really $10 for me was a, a really good place to start because when you take out my $4.50 worth of tracked postage, and that's the way I like to send my DVDs, um, that turns into a $5.50 sale price. And I think that's enough margin off a $1 purchase to be sort of worthwhile with the, with the buy. So that's why I'm always going for a sort of a $10 minimum amount. Um, as you'll see there, 12.25 there for Divas Live 99. Music DVDs seem to do really well. This Michael Caine, Midnight in St. Petersburg, $45 for that DVD, and I would never have known if it was worth that much money if I wasn't doing this experiment, which is, I think, a really interesting point. If I look at everything that I was able to pick up today, I would probably be only able to spot about 20 to 30% of the DVDs that I found. The other you know, 70 to 80% was really down to the fact that I was just putting in the time to scan every single DVD. This Sims 4 game, get to work for $20. I would never have assumed that. I would have always passed that up. Um, same with Soldier as well for $22.95. So some genres that I kind of look for if I'm not doing this experiment. So say for instance, you just wanted to get into DVDs. You didn't have the time to do the scanning of every single one like I am today. I really do think that horror DVDs just seem to comp up well, as you can see there. That Rogue Crocodile movie sold for $18. Um, there's obviously interesting ones like this. TV shows do really well. The fourth season of Homeland going for $12.95. So anything that sort of says um, multiple discs. So you'll often see at the bottom of the front cover of the DVD, it might say two discs or three discs. Generally speaking, they comp up pretty well on eBay and I'm always kind of searching for those. Um, then there's rare ones like this, the Master of Disguise DVD for $25 that you probably aren't too sure of if you're just looking on the shelf. So a really interesting experiment and I think this is a, a really cool thing for you guys to try out over the next few weeks. It took a little while, I'll tell you how long it took for me to do this experiment in a little moment, but um, there were some really great results in a really quick space of time, technically, considering how many I was able to pick up. So. I definitely think you should give this one a try. Um, I was really kind of surprised, I guess, with how many you're actually seeing come out. Um, there's another one there, Outlander for $14.95. That's a great TV show if you can find multiple seasons. That's probably the other thing as well. If you can find multiples of the same category, you can always do bundles. For this experiment though, I've just gone ahead and done individual listings only. And I'm basically trying to get as many DVDs as I can to have some time off over the holidays. So that's why I tried to do this experiment today and finishing off with the uh, Just Dance 2018 on the Nintendo Switch. We've had a really successful run guys. And like I said, it's definitely something for you to try. Alright guys, I've got my haul here, 35 DVDs. I was in that op shop for two hours. I walked in at 10.30 in the morning and I left at 12.30 in the afternoon, but it was definitely worth it. When you add up all of these DVDs per the sold comps that I showed you earlier, it works out to 700 
and $27 worth of resale value. Proven resale value. These things have already gone on to sell. So we know that they can move for this price and the fact that I've been able to pick them up for $35, I just think it's 100% worthwhile doing this exercise. You've got to remember though, we've got to pull a few things out of that number. So the fees, the postage, the cost of goods, all needs to come out to work out what would be potentially a net profit for this little guy here. Now, first of all, postage. I'm always going to be sending them in this envelope here. It's a medium envelope. It's a tracked envelope as well well, which is always good. It's gonna cost you about $4.80 if you buy them in bulk from Australia Post. That's what I do. It just works really seamlessly for me. Um, no bubble wrap or anything like that. Just get the DVD, whack it in, send it off. It's a simple game, guys. I've never had any complaints. So that's how I do my postage. Now the postage cost, I'm working off $4.50 per DVD. That works out to $157.50 to be taken out for postage. The other one as well is the fees. Now I work off 15% for eBay fees. So say they all sold, that would work out to $100 and nine dollars in eBay fees. Remember, we bought them all for 35 bucks. So when you take out all of those numbers, we're left with an overall profit of $425. Now, that's fantastic, but the sell-through rate will take a little bit for these ones to get done, but we also need to be looking at another factor as well, which is the time element. Now, as you know, I was out in the op shop for two hours today, so that's the first allocation of time. The next one that I wanna talk about is listing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and list all of these per the comp that I showed you guys earlier. So all the metadata for that DVD listing for that other seller is already there for you. So that's the way I do it. I just go sold similar, find all the metadata already there and then just basically hit publish by taking my own photos. So I can get this one done in pretty much about three minutes of listing. So I'm gonna allocate an hour and 45 minutes to be able to list up those 35 DVDs. And, uh, and then the other one as well is the shipping process. I'm gonna allocate 30 seconds to get one of these things done. And I think that's pretty accurate. So say 20 minutes to get all of those 35 DVDs. When you add up all that allotment of time, we're talking four hours worth of work to make $425 worth of profit. And I think that's pretty accurate. I don't think I'm sort of, you know, too short or too long on any of those numbers. I think that's pretty much exactly what it takes. And that works out to $100 an hour. So three hours and 45 minutes worth of work today, and then 20 minutes down the road when the items go on to sell, I think this game, I think this little exercise that we've done today is completely worth it. I think it's really blown my expectations out of the water, to be honest with you. I thought that there'd be some money to be made, but not quite as much as $100 an hour. So I really encourage you guys to give this a go over the holiday period, especially. Just pick one op shop, work off $10 plus, and scan every single one. It might take you two hours, as it did for me today with the 600 DVDs that I sifted through, but I've just made myself $100 an hour worth of work. So I definitely encourage you guys to do it. Hopefully it's opened up your eyes. Let me know if you've done it before, you've gone into the op shops and just scanned through every single DVD. It certainly paid off for me, and I know that I've got another 10 to 15 op shops in my local area. And after doing what we've done today, I'm pretty tempted to get back out there and start scanning again for more. So I'm gonna go ahead and list these up, guys. Appreciate you being here. There is this video right here, which is how I break down my DVD sourcing for Facebook Marketplace, because while the op shop are a great way to go about it. Facebook Marketplace is almost even better because you get them for a whole lot less than a dollar. You're talking sometimes 25 cents to 50 cents a pop. So check that video out and uh, I'll leave you with it, guys. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you soon.